Hello and welcome to Let's Talk Meshing's Tutorial Tuesday, where we explore a feature in just a few minutes. In this week's video, we're discussing the automatic solid model assembly feature that you see when you import a database. Let me import a database to show you what I mean. Let's go to File, Import, Database. I'm going to select wingstore.igis. This is the file used in one of the supplied tutorials. Push open. The fourth tab is shown up on the panel. This has all the options that you can set when importing a database. The one we're interested in is this one right here called Automatic Solid Model Assembly. If the checkbox is not checked and expanded, please do so now. The first option within the framework is called Build Models from Free Surfaces. It's pretty self-explanatory. If we don't check that box, and then we push the OK button, Pointwise will import the database surfaces as simple B-spline surfaces, and we can see them here with the expanded database tree. Note that they're all surfaces. Let's undo that. I'm going to repeat the import process. File, Import, Database, Wing Store. Here we are once again back at the Import panel. If I do check the box that says Build Models from Free Surfaces and then push OK, Pointwise will read in each of those surfaces and promote them to quilts and will assemble each quilt into a model. And to show you what I mean, let's expand that database tree. And notice that all of those surfaces have been promoted to quilts. And the quilts have been assembled into models as well. Look at that. But let's go back to the Import menu. File, Import, Database, select Wing Store IGES. There's two more parameters here, Model Assembly Tolerance and Quilt Assembly Tolerance. If you'd like, you can set a Model Assembly Tolerance, sometimes called a Gap Tolerance, to have your models automatically assembled on import from the surfaces available. Additionally, you can enter a value for the quilt assemble angle. So what does this mean? Well, it means that quilts will be combined where the turning angle at their common edges is less than the value entered here. If you enter zero for both of these settings, that will disable the feature. If you'd like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.